our context is in Act 2, Scene 2, and this is where Theseus uh, went to Caesar's house in order to manipulate or convince Caesar to come to the Senate that day. Um, this is really significant um, with the character of Caesar because it shows that his character is very um, easy to manipulate by flattering. And this shows that Theseus, since this Theseus already knows that Caesar hates to be flattered, it's easier for him to convince Caesar to consent so they can kill Caesar once and for all. Let's start. The cause is in my will, I will not come. That is enough to satisfy the Senate. But for your private satisfaction, because I love you, I will let you know. Copernia here, my wife, stays me at home. She dreamt tonight. She saw my statue, which like a fountain, <coughs> with a hundred sprouts, did run pure blood. And many lusty Romans came smiling and did bathe their hands in it. And this does she apply as warnings, and potents, and evils imminent. And on her knees she had begged that I will stay at home today. This dream is all a misinterpreted. It was a vision fair and fortunate. Your statue spouting blood in many pipes with and whisks so many smiling Romans bathe. Signifies, signifies that from you great Rome shall suck reviving blood, and that great men shall press for tinctures, stains, relics, and cognizance. This, but Calpurnia's dream is signified. And this way have you well expounded it? I have, and when you have heard what I can say and know it now, the Senate have concluded to give this day a crown to mighty Caesar. If you shall send a word, <coughs> you will not come. Their minds may change, decide their word mock. Have to be shuttered for someone to say, break up the Senate till another time. If Caesar hides himself, shall they not whisper, Lo, Caesar's afraid. Pardon me, Caesar, for my dear, dear love. To our preceding bids, me tell you this, and reasons to my love is liable. How foolish do your fears seem now, Copernia? I am ashamed I did yield to them. Get me my robe, for I will go.